it's Emily Lucy Ratch. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be can't believe I'm gonna say this, but running. Three days ago I did my first couch to 5k and this is how it went. I'm scared. I've got my boob band on and she's giving me some beta alanine. I'm tingling everywhere. I'm scared. Between 60 seconds of running and 90 seconds of walking. Oh my god, it got worse. It's getting worse. I'm nearly halfway. This is awful. Fuck me. I'm in pain. Push myself on that one. Wait for a fast song. My mustache. This way. First time. Not ready for that. Not ready for treadmill fast. No. Can't breathe. Now it's the second couch to 5k. And I'm not gonna lie. There's not one part of me, not one part of me that wants to do this. Thankfully, Anthony is really pushing me, which I definitely need right now because I don't want to do this. I hate running, I hate going to exercise, but I'm just trying to be like, right, focus on small goals. So the small goal is to complete today again without stopping because I'm so proud of myself that on the first time I didn't stop. And the good thing about the Couch to 5K is that you walk a bit and then you run a bit, walk a bit, run a bit, walk a bit, run a bit. So it's actually like mentally an easier task because I think the hard part about running is your brain telling you you should stop. We're heading down to our local canal, which is the best place for us to run. And years ago when we lived in town, we used to run on here. I'm not saying that I've ever been a runner because I don't think I've ever completed 5K ever. Even when I was like super fit and training all the time, I don't think I actually ever completed 5k in one go so that is the goal it's going to be over nine weeks and this is week one i guess because i've already done one you have to do three a week so hopefully i don't no what was the thing you said to me don't you can't say hopefully but to say it with confidence so i am gonna complete the nine weeks I'm manifesting it and then if i do get no i'm doing it again when when i do get to nine weeks i'm gonna then um, for 10k and I'm gonna try and no I did it again try what is wrong with me I'm gonna do the Abbey Dash exercise is my weakness 1000% it always has been I hated exercising I've always hated exercising so this is a mental battle between me and running and then tonight I'm gonna have a lovely hello fresh I think we've got tonight what is it that I've ordered? Can't remember, but I'll unbox it all with you because I've got a fresh box due today come in. So I'm really excited to unbox that with you after this run. But let's get this over and done with. Mind over matter, I can do this. And I'm actually really excited that I'm now at this part of my journey with my weight loss where I've gone from January not being able to walk very well and training on the treadmill to then now road running and on the mission to do 5k without stopping running. So I feel like the progress is slow, but there. So let's, let's, let's do this run. 90 second recovery walk to help control your breathing. My plan is definitely working. I think the first time I was sprinting instead of running because I had my treadmill songs on. So it was making me run as fast as I would have run on the treadmill, which obviously is a completely different type of training. So. This time, I'm taking it steadier. To get ready for your next 60 second run. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. I think we're close to the halfway point. I'm so happy. I'm not completely out of breath and having stitch right now, which is good. And it's just the most gorgeous run up here. Especially when it's so warm like now. Although it's a bit too warm for running to be honest. <laughs> Went too fast, had <laughs> There was a lot of runners going past that were fast. Did it. I'm just going to cool down walk now and that was actually so much more enjoyable because 
I um, was had a lot of energy left because I hadn't pushed myself too much. So for the last 60 seconds, I proper sprinted. I was going so fast. Well, it feels like you're going fast, but I actually preferred that. And now Anthony's gonna swap and I'm gonna want Max so I can cool down. I'm definitely out of breath, but I'm glad I did that. Obviously when I got in the car and started speaking to you, did not want that at all, but that was actually so much easier. So if you do the first one and you think, sod that, push yourself to do the second one. And I have to say, don't think I would have unless Anthony was pushing me. So having somebody who keeps you accountable. So it'd be really good to do it with a friend or just share it with somebody else. I think that would keep you motivated because there's not a chance, not a chance I would have done that today. I've got so much to do today for the brand. But he was like, just get it done and you'll feel so good and you'll have a really productive day. So I did it. Hello Fresh, just arrived. I'm gonna unpack it and show you what I've got inside. We've got creamy rosemary chicken spaghetti, which we're gonna have for tea tonight. I am obsessed with anything with courgettes in. All of the fresh ingredients goes in the fridge is kept in here. So I'm gonna make this now. I'm absolutely starving. It's creamy rosemary chicken spaghetti. Should take 30 to 35 minutes. Courgette, as I said, absolute favorite of mine. Got all my ingredients ready. This is the thing I love about HelloFresh. Everything is there, so there's no waste. And then you just follow the instructions on how to make it super easily. If you're thinking about using HelloFresh, you can use my discount code R-A-J-C-H-H-F or scan the QR code on screen and that will get you 60% off your first box plus 25% off your next two months. And the best part about it, you get free desserts for life. 700 calories that is well deserved after my workout so I cannot wait to eat this. It smells fantastic. We're now on to week two, floss the nail, of uh, Couch to 5K. I've added some new running girl accessories because I'm in my running girl era. <laughs> so Apple Watch is back on. I've got a new watch strap. Um, I've not worn this for probably close to two years maybe. So I went through my whoop phase but now I'm back on my Apple Watch. I am still using my whoop to crack, track sleep and surf but I've not been wearing it. I'm not going to lie. Then I've borrowed Anthony's, I don't even know what you call this, running vest is it? Where it like Basically, I put my phone in there. It's very big on me, so I'm gonna buy my own. But you put your phone in there and your keys in there. Obviously, my AirPods to get me through the run and be listening to them, talking to me to keep me going. And then, you might have seen in this video quite a few times, the boob buddy. Acid protection. Could not live without this. It's definitely helping keep my girls from aching and supported when I'm running because I just hate, that's one thing that I hate about running. If you're big busted, it really hurts because obviously gravity and this really helps. So I've got two sports bras on, that seems to be helping as well. And then the boob buddy. And Anthony's also <laughs> lent me these, but I don't know. I don't know if these are one step too far. Am I a professional runner? Am I about to do a marathon? Or am I just running on my local canal? Am I okay? I'm in a new stage of Emily. <laughs> the new stage is run club girly. Like, who am I? I actually am thriving in this era. I'm loving it. Don't know if that's one step too far, but we'll see. But yeah, excited to start week two. As you can probably hear from my voice, I'm enjoying it still. Um, it doesn't feel hard. And I've actually lost three pounds last week from running. I've been eating peanut butter and apple like crazy, which is definitely full of sugar and loads of guacamole and avocado. And then you saw I ate so much pasta the other night with my HelloFresh. And I've still managed to lose, did I say two or three, I can't remember. Um, so that's really good. Fueling my running. 
Um, but yeah, it's lovely and sunny today, so I'm gonna enjoy this run. I think it's probably gonna get a little bit harder because it's week two. But this way I'm gonna end the video. If you've got any running tips for me, please let me know. Um, obviously I've watched Gymshark so much throughout this video so again my discount code is still live if you want to use that i'll link it down below in the description and any of these little accessories that i've shared with you i'll link down below too but thank you so much if you've made it to the end of this video hope you've enjoyed it it's a bit different i'm on my health journey to happiness which <laughs> healthy habits which i definitely am seeing i think the hard part is going to be keeping it up through winter so i really appreciate you being here and i'll see you in the next healthy habits video